Welcome to Quantum Change, I'm Natasha Williams and my aim is to help you get clear on the life that you want and shedding that emotional baggage, the story that you tell yourself about who you are so that you can get the life that you deserve. And today I actually want to discuss something very particular around that subject and that is that you are the result of the story that you tell yourself. If I had to ask you to draw me a picture of how you perceive yourself or actually go and stand in the position that you see yourself in. And I'll give you an example. Go back to when you were younger and just try and remember what is the label that your parents told you. Just to give you an example, my parents told me that I have a chip on my shoulder and in fact it's not a chip, it's a boulder and therefore their favorite nickname for me was Boulder Shoulder. Now if they had said it in a loving way, I might not have taken it so personally, but it was said with sarcasm and almost spat at me. That if anything, that I, if I was unhappy with something, that I just had a Boulder Shoulder and there I went again. And rather than understanding that I was battling with something, they couldn't see it. And because they couldn't see it, it was projected out onto me that I had the problem. So if I have to look back on that, what does that look like in my mind? If I have to picture me carrying a boulder on my shoulder and if I look at it, I look like Atlas. I might be hunched over having this huge heavy weight holding me down, keeping me low and feeling the need to be burdened by everybody's problems, holding it, carrying it. So what does it look like to you? Maybe switch off the video, just close your eyes for a minute or two and just do it quickly. It's not, it's not a big task. So what does it look like? And now what I want you to see is I want you to know that that image that you have in your mind of what it actually looks like is how the world actually sees you. It might be a neon sign written all over your forehead. I have a client who says that everyone wants to fight with her. She's on their side, she tells them stuff, and then they turn around and tell her that she's, she's the one with the problem, and she can't understand that because she's trying to help them, and they're taking the thing she's helping them with as her having an issue. And when I said to her, look around you, if everyone around you is angry, there's one common denominator, and that's you. So if you look around your life and you see what is going on around you, what do people say about you? Instead of taking it personally or trying to deflect it, take it in. Because that is an opportunity for you to change it so that you can have an easier life. You can let go of that, that vision you're holding of yourself. If I have this need to carry the world on my shoulders, well, it's not gonna, it's not gonna get me far. I, I might uh, travel a journey, but I'm gonna get tired quicker. I'm going to be uh, physically, mentally, emotionally drained because I'm feeling the need to carry everybody's problems on my shoulder and watch myself because nobody dare, I dare not share my problem with somebody else because they're my problems, I need to carry them. And eventually you suffocate under the weight. But what we don't realize is you could just take that boulder and put it on the ground. I'm carrying it around with me everywhere I go and that's what I'm talking about by your story. You carry your story around with you wherever you go. The minute you get into a public situation, you, there you'll go. You'll talk about the crime or the economy or whatever it is that's bothering you in your life that's affecting you personally. Let's say it's finances or your sense of security, especially in South Africa. You will go and you'll talk about the crime rates and this one got robbed and this one lost so much and that one got hijacked because you don't feel safe. You don't feel secure. And so the world around you is just manifesting the fact that you cannot be safe, you cannot be secure. And when you start realizing that security does not come from, from barricading yourself, it doesn't come from locking yourself up in your house. Um, I heard a story about a guy who was living in the apartheid days that was so mistrustful of anybody who was black that he locked himself in his fort. And the only black person allowed into his home was his maid. And that kept him safe. He had guns, he had cameras, he had high walls, he had electric fence. And one day she was sick and she sent her two nephews to come and clean the house and they murdered him and robbed him blind. And nobody found him for weeks because he was stuck behind this fort that nobody could hear him screaming 
and nobody could come in and save him. And that is what I'm talking about. You are not safe anywhere unless you're safe inside with yourself. Now, I'm not talking about being vigilant. Uh, you, of course, you need to be vigilant. You need to be vigilant around the people that you entrust your trust to, the people that you send your kids to school with. You need to be aware of what it is that your actions are, you are taking responsibility for the choices that you make. I'm talking about overdoing it. I'm talking about thinking that everybody out there is out to get you. You have no control out of the world. You are completely powerless. And the truth is the power lies inside. And I believe that your higher self, your soul, is your GPS. It's your guidance system. And if you're meant to be somewhere, it will guide you to be in the right place at the right time. Nobody knows when they're going to die. But if they do die, I do believe that it was their time. You do not interfere with that. Nobody knows when their time is. So the fact that there is something that happened then, that was their time and they could not have avoided it. If they'd maybe taken another flight, gone on another uh, direction, another car, whatever it was, that was their fate, given that that was the road that they chose to travel on. And you could always change that direction if you listen to your GPS, if you listen to yourself. So on that note... I hope that that helps you change your story. Stop carrying that image that you have of who you think you are and change the image to what it is that you'd like to have in your life. Do you admire somebody that you think has something that you would like to have? And emulate that body posture. Tell yourself that that is what it looks like. Wear it like a suit and notice how your world around you changes. Even the story that you have in your mind will change because you will start thinking the way that that person is thinking. And that is why I do believe that you are the sum of the five people that you spend your most time with. Because if you are being with successful people, they are wearing the success suit. So they're thinking successful thoughts. They're not thinking, oh, this might last for a week and then it's going to fail anyway. What's the point? No one loves me anyway. And that would be the friends that you have that there's never enough money, there's these negative beliefs that they're holding and it's just their story that you are allowing yourself to wear like a suit. So take that suit off and then put on the suit that you'd like to have and make it unique to you, tailor it to you and then walk around in that all day and it can be an invisible suit, it can be a real suit, it doesn't matter. But I wanted to symbolize something to you so that you start changing your story, change it from today, make that decision and change it from today. I hope it helps you. Please subscribe to my channel. I am so looking forward to speaking to you next week. Have an awesome week and if you have any comments please put them below. I will answer each and every one of you. Goodbye.